Hello and welcome to an additional ASP.NET tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be discussing how to dynamically hide certain parts of the page. Uh, for example, <clears throat> you may want to hide uh, the student's form and you want to may want to be able to only expand it once a certain link button was clicked. For example, a link button that says add new student and uh, and that way uh, this form will show up so the way we're gonna do this is we're going to add a we're gonna wrap this whole form in a div with a with a unique ID uh, which will have a run at server tag so let's get to that I'm gonna get into the source of this page so let's add a div here Div. I'm gonna uh, give it an ID of students form, and it's gonna have a run at server tag. We need to uh, take the ending tag of of this div and put it at the end of this form, and put it right over here. Okay, and this div should include the student form. Perfect. Now let's get let's uh, put a uh, a link button right above that div, which will enable us to hide or to show. Well, actually, it's gonna it's gonna show this uh, show this form. Let's give this button a unique ID, and the name I gave is BTN Show Students Form. It's gonna be run at server, and. Uh, the text is going to be add new student. Let's get back to the design and let's double click on the add new student uh, link button. Now this may sound interesting to you but the only thing I'm going to make this button do is to hide uh, its text. This event will not actually show the form However, it'll just hide the text of this particular button. So let's do that. When this button is clicked, it's gonna, what's going to happen is btn show students form that text equals is going to equal nothing. So we're just going to empty out the student's form, uh, the, we're just going to empty out the text of this button. And the next thing we want to do is on page, on a page events, on pre-render, again, I'm doing it as a pre-render because the button click many times happens after the actual page loads. So the, <clears throat> the best practice is to do these type of things on pre-render. We're going to write if btn that should uh, btn show students form that text equals nothing equals uh, in other words without a text value uh, let's just go into the source um, the div is students form that's the name of our div and it's run at server then students form that visible equals in other words when the page loads when the, before the pre-render pre happens in other words if the the button text is equals to nothing which means the button was clicked and the text was emptied out we want the student's form to be visible else students form that visible equals false. So in other words what we're saying here is, is that only if the button uh, sh the button show students form has uh, does not have any text only then show the students form div. Otherwise uh, s which means the button has text in it uh, do not show the form. So in other words 
the end results will be that when the button is clicked, uh, the the text value of that same button is going to be emptied out, and only then will the student's uh, form div be vis visible. So let's give it a try. So here we have this button, and as, when I click this, this should show uh, the student's form. Yep, and there you have the student's form. And as you can see, the, the link button disappeared because it has no text value. Now, what we want to do is next is we're going to try to make this form disappear again once the student is added. Okay, and for that purpose, uh, we're going to take out, there's a label which, uh, which shows up upon the success of this student being added. So that label has to be taken out of this div because if the div is hidden, we won't see the success message. We're just going to take uh, the whole label out with the paragraph uh, tags. So let's go back into the design and let's double click on this add student button. We have some text there ready to add uh, to add uh, the student. So now let's make this button uh, let's make this button do the following. We'll make this button uh, make the text value of the button show students form that text equal to uh, to add new student. BTN show students it's form five o'clock that text equals well I made it empty for a moment I just wanna see what add new student okay okay cool so now when we add the new student that form should hide and again this button btn show students form that text will show up again and that label that displays the success message should show up because it's outside of the div show student uh, students div so let's give it a try okay so right now that div is hidden so let's click on the add new student button and that div is now shown with the form let's add a, uh, a student Steve Jobs and Baruch Cypher is going to be the teacher. Now when I hit the add student, uh, this form should hide and when she see a success message that the student was added and the new student link button should show up again. So let's give it a try. Yes, student added successfully. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for another tutorial on the same subject and this time we're going to uh, make all this happen uh, client side without the page refreshing and the post back is going to happen Ajax. In other words as soon as we click this button uh, the student form will magically show up without refreshing the page and as soon as we add click the add student button uh, this uh, form will disappear and the label uh, student added successfully will appear magically and then this button again magically will appear again. So stay tuned for part two of this tutorial.